with some of the quirkiest wildlife on the planet and almost the size of the United States while having a population of New York State, Australia is a land of dreams and peaceful life. Having the sacred legends of the Aboriginal Dreamtime, it is the world's smallest continent and largest island. Hello, and welcome to Travel Fever, the ultimate guide and number one place for all adventurers across the globe. From Dreamtime walks to the heavenly apostles and incredible ocean life to the fascinating Great Barrier Reef, here are the seven most awe-inspiring places to visit in Australia. Seven, Kangaroo Island. The third largest island in the country, Kangaroo Island is close off the coast of South Australia, roughly a 45-minute boat journey from Cape Jarvis. One of the most popular tourist sites in the state, its pleasantly unspoiled surroundings are home to the stunning beauty and the abundance of animals. Everything from gigantic dunes and towering cliffs to extensive caverns and spectacular rock formations can be found in several natural areas of this island. These are home to echidnas, koalas, and kangaroos, while penguins, sea lions, and dolphins may be sighted offshore. Its different landscapes lends itself nicely to all types of outdoor sports, including hiking, sandboarding, and scuba diving. Besides its enormous natural treasures, wildlife, and leisure options, Kangaroo Island also has tons of tasty local products and superb wines for tourists. Six, Sydney Opera House. Most people associate Sydney, Australia with the Sydney Opera House. This magnificent edifice on Sydney's Benelong Point, shaped like giant shells or billowing sails, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the world's great architectural landmarks. With breathtaking beauty, the building is surrounded by water on three sides and the Royal Botanic Gardens border it to the south. Today, you may attend a show, eat at one of the restaurants, or take a guided tour of the Sydney Opera House. Theaters, studios, a music hall, exhibition halls, and a cinema are all part of the complex. The inside of the Sydney Opera House is fascinating, but its remarkable architecture is best appreciated from afar. Mrs. Macquarie's chair at the Royal Botanic Gardens is a great place to shoot this famous Sydney tourist landmark. You may take a harbor cruise or ferry and picture it from the water as you pass by. 5. Great Barrier Reef it might be the most renowned attraction in Australia, but there's a solid reason for that. One of the seven natural wonders that can be found all over the globe is the Great Barrier Reef. The Great Barrier Reef is a scuba diver's paradise, and it stretches over 3,000 kilometers along the coast of Queensland. Whether you are a seasoned pro at scuba diving, just starting out with snorkeling, or experiencing the underwater world for the very first time, there is something for everyone. You may plan a trip on a liveboard dive boat to visit some of the reef's most isolated dive sites, take a helicopter tour over the breathtaking seas, or give diving with a helmet a try. As said by many tourists, any trip to Australia is incomplete without exploring Great Barrier Reef. The stunning natural beauty attracts visitors not only from Australia, but almost every part of the world. With Sundays. 75 islands make up with Sundays, which are located off the coast of Queensland. While exploring Great Barrier Reef, you must consider exploring this hotspot too. These islands are situated smack dab in the middle of the action. Stunningly beautiful beaches with soft white sand blend seamlessly with the aquamarine ocean. There are opulent resorts as well as opportunities for sailing and snorkeling. Whitehaven Beach, located on the biggest and most well-known island, should definitely be visited. Even though the Whitsunday Islands are most well-known for their breathtaking natural beauty, they are also the location of some of the oldest Aboriginal archaeological sites in the whole nation. This fact has contributed significantly to the island's widespread popularity. 3. Barassa Valley if you are a lover of wine, you should definitely make a trip to Barassa Valley, as it is one of Australia's most prestigious wine-producing areas. 
More than 150 wineries and over 80 cellar doors can be found in this region. Located around 50 minutes northeast of Adelaide in South Australia, although the area is most known for its full-bodied red wines, it also produces a respectable amount of Grenache, Riesling, and Chardonnay grapes. In addition, large Australian wineries such as Penfolds, Yalumba, and Jacobs Creek have their headquarters here. Still, if you want to experience genuine Australian hospitality, you must visit more intimate wineries such as Charles Melton and Rockford Wines. Two, Sapphire Coast. This tranquil part of the state on the edge of Green Cape is somewhat of a hidden treasure off the radar of mainstream tourists because of its location on the southeastern border of New South Wales, which is about 500 kilometers from the core business district of Sydney. If you are prepared to drive those additional kilometers though, you will be rewarded with pristine nature along this ruggedly stunning stretch of water between Bermajui and Disaster Bay. This location is characterized by otherworldly crimson cliffs, tremendous waves, and bright, ever-changing vistas. The scenery here, known for its rust-colored Devonian rock, is a feast for the eyes, but there is also plenty of real dining to be done here. 1. Melbourne Melbourne, which serves as the capital of the state of Victoria, is the second most populous city in all of Australia. The city is situated on the vast natural harbour of Port Phillip and is close to the southeasternmost point of Australia, is an important port and is also regarded as the country's cultural centre. People from all over the globe may be seen strolling the streets since the quality of life is so exceptional. Its delectable food and the one-of-a-kind neighbourhoods directly result from the city's diverse population both of which contribute to the city's status as a fascinating location to explore. The neighborhood known as City Center in Melbourne is home to most of the city's attractions, including the Flinders Street Railway Station, which is easily the city's most famous monument. The Edwardian Era Station's entrance is known as a popular gathering point due to the several clocks that hang over the door. The Eureka Tower is a skyscraper with an observation platform located on the 88th level. Visitors to Melbourne will never be at a loss for fascinating things to see and do, no matter what time they choose to explore the city. So, which of these attractions did you like the most? Do let us know in the comments below. If you're visiting Travel Fever for the first time, please hit that like and subscribe to get more amazing videos in the future. Thanks for watching.